Let's in motion. How's it going, Exiles? My name is Ralph, and today I wanted to talk about the new currency stash tabs. Oh, man. So, I refreshed the page yesterday on the Path of Exile website, and the, the stash tab news popped up. I screamed in real life. I was freaking out. This is amazing. So, basically, what the stash tab does is it allows you to store an absurd amount of currency. An absurd amount, like up to 5,000 currency. So, you know, if you're hoarding alterations or something like that, or you're hoarding jewelers, you, then you just put them, you can put them all in one stack in this little section in this new tab. And, and it organizes them. So it, it's just in one spot, you know what I mean? It's really nice. Sadly, you can't put Parandus coins in there, but that's okay. But I mean, seriously, if you're going to like hoard alterations or something to do a big crafting session later, or if you, like in my case, I'd like to get a lightning coil sometime, but, and I'm going to need to six socket it, so I'm hoarding a bunch of jewelers, this way I get the tab, I just put it in there, and then I have all my jewelers in one spot, they're not taking up like rows and rows and rows or columns or columns or columns or columns of my stash tab. It's just all in one place. Yes, it costs 75 points, which is quite a large amount compared to the other stash tabs. The I'm pretty sure the normal stash tab is like 30 and a premium stash tab is like 40. Upgrading to a premium stash tab is maybe 20 or 10 points, something like that, if I remember correctly. But anyway, so it costs 75, so it's definitely up there in price. And as far as advantage goes, I mean, you're paying for, well, an absurd amount of storage space. Because you got to think with things like alchemy orbs, that only come in stacks of 10. And I mean, you can get a lot of alchemies pretty easily. Or something like chaos orbs. And I don't really like holding on to exalts. I would rather have, um, I would rather have the, the chaos. I, I just, I like to be able to just have them there to spam maps and stuff like that. And that usually takes up a lot of space because you got 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. This way, you just put it all in one stack in your currency tab. So you pay for a lot of storage space, but you're also paying for organization. When you pay for an extra stash tab or when you pay for um, a premium stash tab, I mean, yeah, you get a lot of space. With this, you get a lot of space, but it also organizes it for you. And it you can very clearly see the amounts of currency, you know, like, let's say you were an MFer and you were just going to vendor every single rare or something for some reason. You know, it'd be very easy for you to, to measure how many, um, you know, alterations you're getting per hour or if, how many fusings you're getting per day if you're working towards a goal. You can very clearly see each amount of currency or if you need to um, really scour your wallet, like if you need to dig out all your currency from, you know, all your resources to buy that one build enabling unique that you really need, it clearly shows you all your currency. It's all in one spot. It's all very organized. It's all very easy to see. So the tab is crazy. I mean, having stash tab space gives you an advantage as it is. Like, I mean, I'm not saying they're pay to win. I mean, they are kind of pay to win. Like, if you're going to play PoE for a long time, you need stash tabs. You need extra space. And PoE right now is mm, heavily... It's it, trading. Trading has a big influence on how successful you can be, you know, given how easy it can be to gear with efficient trading. And what's the basis of trading and making money? Merchanting and, um, and flipping items. You buy low and you sell high. But when you're selling high, sometimes you have to hang on to those items for a little bit of extra time. And having stash tab space allows you to do that. And these, this currency tab gives you this, this free organization, gives you this free assessment of your wealth. Very easy, very nice interface, very good for understanding. Yes, you can do all that organizing yourself and it's just going to take up a little bit of space in a different ways with some simple mental math. You're going to be able to tell how much currency you have, yada, yada, yada. But still, it's not the same experience, but it's not, it's not pay to win, obviously. I mean, I do think having this stash tab as a newer-ish player would be very nice. 
I think it'd be cool, you know, if they could give this to everyone else. But also, I respect the fact that GGG needs to make money. You know, it, it's a it's a very Path of Exile is an amazing game, so I, I can respect that. I don't think the advantage is too great though, and it is also a premium tab, so you can list trades from it. But it doesn't seem like you can list a small amount of currency. So if you had like five thousand. Uh, alterations, and you wanted to list only a hundred of them from the currency stash tab, it doesn't seem like you could do that. So you would probably want to have a premium tab and a, um, and a currency stash tab. A currency stash tab more is your bank and a premium tab more is where you're going to sell. Now, would I recommend buying this? And the answer is yes. I would highly recommend buying this. I would recommend buying this even before a premium stash tab, because as a new player, it's just so hard to keep track of all your currency. And I mean, it could even be a good business move of GGG to offer new players a discounted version of this. Because when when I'm watching my friends or, or you know, and they're new and they're trying to get into the game, they have all this crap, all this stupid currency laying around. They're like, they don't know what to do with it. This tab really organizes it for you and it really puts it in a nice kind of way. And it's almost like a crafting bench, you know, where you get to see all the functions that you've acquired sort of and how many uses you have. I it could be a good business move to offer a discounted version to new players or or something of the sort or maybe even a free tab. I definitely recommend buying this and yes 75 points so it is a little more on the expensive side but I mean think about how much money you spend on other games or if you if you go to the movies or something like that and PoE is free but it's so good you can get so many hours out of it and and I mean or if you're going out to eat and you get some hamburgers maybe just say no to the hamburgers and get yourself a currency stash tab obviously if you started playing PoE yesterday I wouldn't recommend buying the new tab but I mean if you're if you can tell that you're really going to be playing this game for a long time here's what I would do I would either upgrade I would get a currency stash tab for sure to get that free organization to get that nice interface so you can really you know start to understand like how the wealth will change how you can exchange currencies and I would either upgrade to a premium stash tab, one of your regular stash tabs, to list normal item trades. So get a currency stash tab, you're going to save a lot of space. And then you'll have two normal stash tabs for just like other storage, and then have a premium stash tab that you upgraded. Well, you would, you would have three normal stash tabs, and then have a premium tab that you upgraded and you can sell items here and of course like smaller amounts of currency and that's going to give you a lot of storage space you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck also you could just do a currency tab and a premium tab for the item trades trading i only say this because trading is very it's very uh, integral in the game right now it's very important if you're playing self found obviously the premium tab isn't going to be that important but the currency tab is nice no matter what because the organization and the amount of storage space you get plus as self found usually you end up hoarding a lot of stuff, a lot of currency, a lot of items, and this currency stash tab is really going to help with that. And for new players, on poe.trade, the currency um, the currency part of the website where you can exchange currency is a very good place to start trading. It's very noob friendly, you know, it's very, it's a good place to learn rates and then you, you, can, uh, you can just sort of do it by memory then, like one to two, chaos alx, that sort of thing. Obviously the rates are different now, but it's a very noob friendly, very simple trading. When I first started, got in, when I first got into trading, I started with exchanging currencies because you know price checking items can be kind of hard. But if you want to six link an item and you have some chaos, you can very easily go to the currency part of POE Trade and start trading there. It's very noob friendly. So yes, I would highly recommend buying this. I mean. It's not quite pay to win, but it's very nice quality of life for the uh, for the amount of money you spend. Path of Exile is definitely worth it. It's an amazing game. It's free until you buy stash tabs, and you you pretty much have to buy stash tabs if you want to play the game 
uh, to an intense degree. So, you know, next time your your friends or your family or whatever wants to go out to dinner, you know, or see a movie, just tell them, no, I have to have, I can't spend money, you gotta know life, you gotta buy the currency stash tab, you're trying to, you know, you're trying to, you gotta, you gotta shave your budget a little bit, you gotta, you gotta get the new stuff, the new efficiencies for the ray class life. Um, let me know what you guys think of the tab, let me know what you guys think of the advantage of having the tab, uh, and thank you so much for watching.